In the long history of competitive Pokemon, something that has been an expected pattern is the third version of the games. Platinum, Black and White 2, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon all came out within the following years of the original games and were required to compete in VGC events due to them being the most updated version. However, when Gen 8 came around, we received two rounds of DLC rather than a third version of the game, which is honestly a preferable model in my opinion, granted the DLC has the content to back up its price. Due to the fact VGC events were taken online in the form of Players' Cup events from 2020 to 2021, there was truly no need to buy the DLC if you had a friend who could trade you the Pokemon that you needed for your team. With one exception. In late VGC 2021 and 2022, players were allowed to use restricted legendary Pokemon on their teams. At the moment, there are two very powerful legendary Pokemon that have found heavy usage due to their high viability and power. Calyrex Shadow and Calyrex Ice have 25 and 8.5% usage respectively. The game will actually stop someone from trading a Calyrex Shadow or Calyrex Ice before separating it into the two Pokemon that make it up. While it is perfectly possible to have a Calyrex, Glacier, and Spectre traded to you, as it turns out, the item needed to combine them, the Reigns of Unity, is a key item. A key item that is only attainable through the story of the DLC. Therefore, while you could play a VGC 2022 without ever using a Calyrex form, your lack of access to them in the first place means that these could be considered the first pay-to-win Pokemon in VGC history. If you enjoyed or learned anything new, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Twitch to watch me battle live.